Hello guys, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to save data in JSON to shared preference. So we are going to save uh, the data in the list view to shared preferences. So the first thing you do is create your UI. I've added a linear. In this linear I've put a list view, list view 1. Then I've got a button, button 1, which saves uh, our list data to shared preference. Let's have a look at the components. In components, I've added the shared preference code saved. Let's go to on create. In on create life cycle, we use an if else statement block, and inside that if statement, we use an equals block and add our shared preference saved with key saved if key if shared preference saved with key saved is equals to empty then we load our list view with data in a list string called string i've created the list string called string then we show that data in our custom uh, view with these otherwise if the saved shared preference with key saved is not empty then we get the data in shared preference saved to our list string string and we show it in our list view so this means if saved is not empty then we have got data in our shared preference which we can load to our list string Let's go back to main UI. We are going to bind our list view to a custom view called list. Create a custom view called list and add a text view. Text view 1. Text view 1 will show the contents of our list view. Then let's go to unbind custom view. On bind custom view, we set the contents of list string to text view 1. This means text view 1 will show the contents of list string. Then our button for saving our JSON data, we have got saved, set uh, shared preference block, saved, set data key saved, and we get the value of the list string to JSON string. And then we toast saved successfully. This other block is essential. You can add it anywhere. It gives us uh, the import which we need for using JSON. Let's run this. Install. Okay, so we'll open this. There we go, we've got our list, Damilola, Agas, and so on. So this list is being loaded from our list string with the entities that we added because now the saved preference is empty. But when we click save, we get our toast saved successfully. What happens is our JSON data has been saved to shared preference. So let's test to see if it has been saved to shared preference by removing the logic we have in on create if statement. So let's delete this, go back, run the project. Open there we go we still have our data so what happens is this loads from the else statement because our shared preference saved is not empty okay that's all with uh, saving json data to shared preferences